Hi, I'm Nathan Jones, and boy, do we ever have a crazy show for you guys and gals today right here on Dead Down Winds Wild Extreme. We start off today with crew member Ryan Henley in Nebraska. He's hunting the box L for Merriam Turkey. You'll be able to witness firsthand how Ryan uses his double bull matrix to his advantage. He ends up scant feet not yards, scant feet from two huge long beards. Later in the show, Chris Brackett introduces me to the silver carp and demonstrates how to take them out of the air and put them into the boat. It's absolutely the craziest time I've ever had on the wall. Thanks for choosing to go hunting with me today. This is Dead Down Winds Wild Extremes. Dead Down Winds Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Dead Down Wind, the leader in scent prevention. It's not just luck. Chateau Bairdin and Volunteer Cabin Rentals. Now you have a second home. Double Bull Archery, home of the Dark Archer. Martin Archery making the most accurate bows for over 50 years. This segment of Dead Down Winds Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Double Bull Archery, home of the Dark Archer. Springtime in Nebraska has always been good to the crew of Dead Down Winds Wild Extremes. The turkey season in Nebraska starts a lot earlier than in most other states, so in late March you can count on the Wild Extremes crew heading west to the box cell looking for Merriam's. This is an example of why we use Dead Down Wind in the spring. It's not just a product for the fall. Turkeys and deer rely on each other to spot danger, and when you have deer blowing and running, you have your turkeys trotting the other way as well. This young buck couldn't decide what he thought of the double bull sitting there in the wide open, but he never winded the crew and finally moved off looking for a place to bed for the day. The key to success when you're hunting a place loaded with turkeys like the box L is patience. And even though it appeared the only thing moving this morning was a lone hen, Ryan was confident that it was just a matter of time until he would have a long beard right in front of his double bull blind. And then he took a peek out of the side of the blind. They're right there, about 15 yards to our right. Hopefully they'll come down this hill and work to the decoy. And that's exactly what happened. And even though I've seen it firsthand literally hundreds of times, when a bird walks right up to the blind at this range, I'm still amazed at how effective the double bull is at allowing us to get right on top of undisturbed game.
Just got one, baby. Smoky. <laughs> oh man, that was fun. That was a great hunt. These birds were roosted probably 150 yards from us. And they'd been down this little flat all morning long, just around the hill. We couldn't quite see them. And they end up coming up over the hill to the right of the blind. And they crossed right in front of the blind, probably five yards. I mean, they were close. They went out there, and one of them tried to get on top of the hand. That'd be great, huh? Awesome. Man, this is a good bird here. Heavy bird. And look at the spurs on that one. That's some good spurs for Marion. Real good spurs. Pretty bird. We're still hunting at the Box Hill Ranch this morning. I killed a bird with my bow last night. We were lucky enough to get out here a little bit before the roosting time and we watched these birds fly up to, to roost. We came back in here this morning and they all flew down and the bottom here stood around and gobbled for probably a half hour or so. They started to work up the back side of this hill here and go around on the back side of the, of the vine there. They seen my decoy here and she did a great job. She pulled two toms right in here. They strutted around, tried to get on top of her breeder. It was a great hunt. The awesome Halleck did a great job. I'd like to thank Jay Box for letting me come up here and hunt Merriam turkeys. I'd also like to thank Matt Owen for coming up here and running the camera for me. This segment of Dead Down Wind's Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Dead Down Wind, the leader in scent prevention. It's not just luck. You must be Chris. I can tell by the glasses and the short pants. <laughs> Got How are you doing, fun. man? Good, good to see you. Well, we are going to do something I've never done before, and that's fall out of a boat in the water while it's moving. No, After we're going to shoot some fish. About a <laughs> yeah. We just still got to determine whether we're fishing or hunting. Well, I did what you told me to do. You said do not bring one bow. Yeah. They're has not. nothing to do with the quality of the bow. It has to do with the veracity of the fish. Yes, they are in attack mode. Since the, cool. since the weather's got hot, water's yep. got hot, they're in attack mode. And uh, we'll have um, be sitting up here, and then we'll be shooting off the back. Okay. And then uh, this is, we're just set up in the Triton. It's really good to us. Got a non skid floor because this thing will be covered in slime. And uh, we got soda and See, water. and I have aversion to slime. I don't know if, should I just stay or just go? Oh, no, I'll just go. I'm just going to throw caution to the wind and go with you. Just go. These things will bleed as a self defect mechanism when they come out of the water. They'll already be bleeding from their gills. So they're. Their job. No way. Now, now, I goof a lot, but I'm you're being dead you. serious. I, I'm, I'm being They are serious. spewing blood as they come toward me. From their gills. and they, 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 In anticipation. Yeah, like they're... they're they not, want me. I believe that they were created to... To want me. Yeah, to just slam To destroy me. <laughs> yep, pretty much. We run a boat a certain way and get the fish to jump the way we need them to, to present very good shots for us. They'll jump straight up. Some of them will be beelining from the front of the boat. They'll clear the entire length of this 18-foot boat and never touch nothing. They'll go between us. They'll go through our bows. So we'll have more fish in the boat than we, you and me actually shoot. I will using my free arm like I'm in a cloud of mosquitoes. Right. You'll be like this. And, and then, you'll, okay, you do block. I'll be blocking and dodging. Yep, yep, the whole day. And we'll have more fun than you've ever had shooting a boat. I will laugh at least it. once today. You'll laugh in the first five minutes because I'll ask you, are you ready? And then I'll go, okay, Troy. Hit, the signal, hit it. And there'll be fish everywhere. It was now time to get the bow set up. There's the man yeah. of the hour. Right there, walking up here, saunering. That's not a walk, it's a saunter. Saunter on up. Saunter on up. This is a little tiny boy. Sometimes when I see guys your size, I just like to pick you up and throw you up in the air and just let you squeal and delight. Nice. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. So these are the Mac Daddy of all fish heads right there. Right here. Kevin Sullivan. Mm -hmm. Hooked me up with these so I could test them out and figured if I can't break them <laughs> or, or they work for me, right. you got to work for right. anybody. So yep. mm -hmm. just, uh, mm -hmm. just through the size of my pinky, 
and about the size of a Copenhagen can is what they open up to. Only it's red, really? no Copenhagen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Big fatty. Mm -hmm. That would be the thing that makes the circle on the back of the pocket of the jean right there. That yeah. circle, it would go through that. Oh no, no, it would not only go through that, but it would retrieve it yeah. for you forthwith. I don't have to have a circle on the pocket of my pants to fish with you, do I? Yeah, you do that would only redneck pass for today. You're gonna be just one day, oh, one yeah. day, one day I'm only. <laughs> automatically, you're automatically redneck for today. Okay, beautiful. Let's do it. We're let's ready. do it, man. Let's let's do it like a high five. High five. All right, boat driver. High five. Up high. Yeah. Let's go kill fish. Where's my boat driver? Go to the water. All right, we're headed to the water. Come on. Permission to come aboard, sir. Ugh. I thought we gave you permission. Yeah. <laughs> no, I got the sign permission from my mom. Good okay, man. I gotta show. I gotta show you two things. Okay. One. All right. This is Troy's accident from last week. See the shininess? Yep. This is a new uh, hair gel we're gonna be marketing. Yeah. We're testing it on Excellent. hats and other yep. things. Yep. And it's clean. And then yep. we definitely gotta get a shot of the floor. Okay. Because it will not be this way. In a half hour. In a half hour. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Although it used to be camouflage, now it has a green. So right now, <laughs> basically, boys, this is just a huddle to uh, yeah. to go we're look trying, at this yeah, now. We're trying to get our uh, wits. Uh, here in just a little bit. Yeah, see, we're clean. Clean. We're clean. all clean. Kind of. Not tired. Uh huh. <laughs> and uh. Or not sunburned. Okay. Game so, on. Let's get our bows. On. This segment of Dead Down Winds Wild Extremes is being brought to you by Volunteer Cabin Rentals and Chateau Bearden. Now you have a second home. Yeah, he's Look jumping for you. I can't believe it, man. That was, what, your third <laughs> shot? Third, fourth shot? Man, Chris, thank you, brother. That's awesome, bud. Yeah. <laughs> so you are now one of the elite 100. No, 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 no. I've got to get, how many of you, I'm not, no, don't even go there. No, Look at this, I'm playing him. But you're one of the elite 100 that's ever shot a fish out of the air. Really? Yeah, you're no the way. top, yeah, top no 100. Way. Go ahead oh, and let okay, him. Okay, okay. I'll go ahead and. I got my captain reeling I'll my play, fish. I'll or play I got him. Mr. Chris. You can give me some. I always want in case he runs. See, there he wants to go. Uh huh. So you just, you'll just kind of feel him give up on the string and then you start. Yeah, because we just him got him to the oh, belly. So. Yeah. We'll get him in the boat. Right there, there we go. Now he counts. And he. There you are. Okay. There he is. There he is, guys. <laughs> Slimed, like you said, man. Super silver Slimed. Carp. There's ne I've never met a fish that was more nasty than these guys are. Now, I, I'm telling you what though, not that it's not fun to shoot them in the water, but this this supersedes that. Yeah, it's, a, <laughs> it it's really another does. level. Yeah. So you have now just joined the elite 100 that's ever shot a fish out of wow. the air with a bow and arrow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's in the boat. We're defending the Triton. So that is that a silver is carp right there. Yep. It's about our average size right here. And uh, see their eyes are on the bottom of their head. Right. And they're a filter feeder. They eat plankton like a whale. Oh, really? Okay. And their eggs, see how the eggs are so small? Right, right. That's why they have 1.3 million eggs in them, a spawn. And they eat 8% of their heavens. body weight a day. So Good they're heavens. devastating our river system. So and they're we're not actually, cannibals, so they're not uh, helping nope. control their own population. Mm -mm. Wow. And so we're doing our part right there. Absolutely. It's actually a pretty fish. That is a pretty fish. That is a beautiful fish. But uh, the, the uh, shape of its head is definitely unique. Mm -hmm. And that right sure. there, that's what hurts. Yeah. I'm going to put them in the, uh, the dead box. <laughs> go, we got to go a little bit slower, brother. Yeah, God, he's a oh, fatty. Yeah. Oh, oh. He's a fatty. Yeah. That, that was is a good perfect. one, brother. That was perfect. Did you see yeah. how big he was? That is a good one. For having me shoot with you. Thanks for having us here. This is where we turn into the thank you fest. Look at this whale. Good for you. Congratulations. That is a freaking horse, dude. Look at this. Get it. Yeah, there you go. That's brutal, man. That's your super silver carp by the Illinois River. That is brutal. Good job, dude. Thank you.
That rocks. Thank you. Now it's your turn. <laughs> okay, well. We're going to give you a fatty. Wait, okay. We're going to get you a fatty. It's your turn. <laughs> oh, he was a fatty. <laughs> oh, he was. Go ahead and go. with his ass. Whoa! <laughs> Voted one. Oh, 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 that Big giant ones. Fish on! Get one, get one! Ah. Fish in the boat! Fish up all over! We got them everywhere! Holy cow! Yeah, those things are bleeding from their gills! Unbelievable! Woo! <laughs> Holy crap, I gotta let her down! <laughs> Look at this! Oh, good lord! Oh, yeah, yeah! Oh, yeah! I got... Oh, 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 look at this! Oh, I've got one! I could not stand that! Oh, Eric, have you ever... I... Yes, I have! <laughs> oh, holy cow! It's intense. Oh, you got... It was raining, jumping fish. Big one. I mean, I'm telling you what, brother. I did. <laughs> I pointed the bow and pulled the trigger. Absolutely extreme. This is extreme, and what's more, this is wild extremes, Chris. Wild extremes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed, my friend. And I cannot thank you enough for inviting us out to fish with you guys. No problem. I knew if you, anybody could handle it, you could handle it. Brother, that is it. Mr. Chris, <laughs> we got us one on, man. My goodness. Look at this. Good job, baby. Look at this. Here we go, guys. There you go. There you go. <laughs> is that it, Chris? <laughs> What do you think? Silver Carp, Illinois River right here, man. This is Wild Extremes. Well, Chris, I can't thank you enough, brother, for having us out here, having the Wild Extremes boys come in and try to shoot some fish. Welcome to Illinois. <laughs> and actually, I got a little lucky. No, I, did, I, I, did, I, did no shoot, I did shoot a few fish. Okay, a little bit of luck, but a lot of it is you just got to go with your instincts. Your instincts must be good, so. Well, I'll tell you what, I have never, ever experienced anything like this in my life. You, you really can't do it justice by telling or viewing it on television. It doesn't even, it doesn't even uh, hit the mark. I mean. No, because because there was a couple times it it was like walking into a windmill. <laughs> no, I mean I shot and then I'm just flapping my arms to keep fish out of my face, and they're just slamming us. I mean everybody has <laughs> everybody has been all slimed. slimed. All of us has been slimed. Yeah, blood all bloody. Bloody. I mean it's just it's. It is as physical as fishing gets, and this takes bow fishing to the next level or beyond the next level because this is, uh, you know, this is incredible, and it's been it's been a blast out here. I can't thank you enough. This has been great right here at Bracket Outdoors. It's an experience you guys don't want to miss. Give Chris a call if you want the same Bracket Outdoors experience right here in Illinois. Well, hey, what did you guys and gals think of that one? I know next season I'll be hooking up with Chris Brackett one more time to go head to head with those carp that come out of the water to meet and greet. I would also like to thank Jay Box from the Box Hill for hosting the boys from Wild Extremes to a great turkey hunt. Jay, we will be back this spring. I'll see all of you again next time where the slamming will continue right here on Dead Downwind's Wild Extremes. Dead Downwind's Wild Extremes has been brought to you by Dead Down Wind, the leader in scent prevention. It's not just luck. Double Bull Archery, home of the Dark Archer. Chateau Bairdin and Volunteer Cabin Rentals. Now you have a second home. Martin Archery, making the most accurate bows for over 50 years.
Man, we got us a monster. This has been a Wild Serenade production.